What I am about to do, I've never done in my life. Not once. This is the first time. I will sing publicly. I am a horrible singer. Out of all things that I do bad, this is the worst one. It's taken quite a few efforts to convince myself to actually do that. To step over my shame and shyness. And that's gonna be horrible. But if you stick to the end of this song, just a couple minutes, not long. Then at the end, I'm going to make it up to you by telling why I am feeling exactly like what I'll be singing in this song. Story like you've never heard before. Because this is unfolding now. Oh, it's not gonna be good. That's, let's do it. I'm back into the USSR USSR I'm back into the USSR Find not to why I should be and try to leave my heart behind USSR I'm back into the USSR 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 That's enough singing. I am sorry for this. I'm sorry for having you go through watching me singing. Phew. Done with the song. Trust me. It wasn't easy to convince myself to <laughs> sing it. But it's important. Because this song is spot on. Uh, this is how, exactly how I'm feeling these days. And this is... Um, this is the thought that I had a couple days ago. Right from the start of this uh, special military operation on February 24th, I've been having this hellish cocktail of emotions, bad emotions, bad feelings, and it's despair, disbelief, not acceptance, okay? Depression, mix. Well, I made a video about that. It's called what I'm like what is going on with me during this time of special military operation. You can watch it after you're done watching this video. The link is going to be in the description. That's a window into my soul, so to speak. But then, a couple, couple days ago, a thought struck me. I all of a sudden realized that what is going on now, I have seen before. I have heard that music. I have seen the pictures. I have smelled the stink. That was a long time ago. Over 30 years ago. You see, I was born and raised in the USSR and I was 16 years old when it crumbled. First 16 years I lived in that quote-unquote wonderful, uh, not so wonderful country. Trust me, the USSR stunk. It was a terrible place to live. It was not free, it was suppressive, it was rude, harsh, bleak, um, emotionless, not good. I was having great childhood, I'm not complaining. I had a fantastic family, mom and dad, all the relatives. I was young, I was eager to learn about the world, you know, I was going to school, everything seemed fantastic. But overall, looking at that time from this experience, from this point of my life, I'm telling you, that's not the place I would like to go back to. Then 30 years of living in Russia followed, and they were different, different years. There was uncertainty, times of uncertainty, times of prosperity, times of despair, times of violence, unfairness, you know, everything. But overall, I 
think that the 30 years that followed the Soviet Union were actually really, really good. Well, that everything ended on 24th of February 2022. Old country, old Russia, it ceased to exist and the new country uh, is evolving right in front of our eyes. Why am I saying there's such a difference? Like there's a line between two countries, okay? Because there actually is what's happening. Real fast and real, real harsh. Um, new <coughs> ideology is, well, old ideology, really, Soviet ideology is coming back. Uh, people start behaving differently. People start speaking differently. People getting canceled for things. New laws are introduced and people thrown start getting thrown to jail and stuff like that. So we yet to find the name for this country. Let me just uh, give you a brief comparison of old USSR and this new country we are living in right now. Okay, look, for me personally, and I'm not a historian of Soviet Union, you know, and I'm not, not an expert, it's just I was born, raised, I lived in that country. I was growing up for my first 16 years of my life. In the USSR, there were three distinct features that I could not stand. And again, that's just my opinion and uh, my point of view, my experience. Some people might have different experiences, okay? I've seen people that are saying that the USSR was great and they would love to go back. No big deal, you know. So I'm talking about my, my own feelings. First, there was no personal freedom in the USSR. Second, there was lack of information what was going on outside in the world. And the third is an ability to leave the country at will. Number one, we had lack of personal freedom. Basically, there was party, there was ideal ideology of the party, and ideology was uh, created somewhere on top and, you know, lowered down to us. And we had no choice but to concur to the ideology, to think as we were expected to think, taught how to think, you know. At the very early age, I would say from first grade or from kindergarten, we were uh, placed into this atmosphere of Soviet ideology and we could not ask questions, we could not have our own opinions. Well, uh, we could have opinions, but they had to be the opinions that uh, went along with the party line, okay? We could not uh, protest. We basically had steps to follow, and those steps were they, they, they had been designed for us, okay? Thoughts in our heads, they've been placed there. We, we weren't allowed to have our own thoughts, okay? There weren't any people who actually were against party line. There were so few in the USSR, and they were called the dissidents, that um, we didn't even know they existed, okay? But we were thought of ourselves, we had our lives basically planned out for us. The only freedoms we had were very personal ones, like who to fall in love with, <laughs> it was up for us to decide who to marry, you know, what kind of uh, job to have. Uh, we had to have a job. I mean, there's no way people could not work in the USSR, but we, we were able to choose what we wanted to do, Think, things like that. Everything else was decided for us and we were expected to follow the suit. Number two, lack of information. We didn't know what was happening outside of the USSR. And it was pretty unfair because the world is so large, so uh, vivid, colorful, you know, so interesting. I love, personally, love to travel to different countries. I love learning new cultures. I love learning new ways. <laughs> People in the USSR couldn't do that. We couldn't only travel inside of the USSR. Uh, we could vacate inside of the USSR. We were allowed to have one month off uh, and go anywhere we wanted within the country. Or uh, if we were lucky, we could go to some neighboring friendly countries, such as India, Bulgaria, you know, Czech Republic for 
vacation, but that would be one of a lifetime opportunity, just once, okay? People would bring magazines from trips like that, and then one magazine would be read by like thousands of people, friends, families, they would borrow the magazine and read it. So we had complete lack of true information what was going on outside, and the only information we were given was through the official sources of the government. You know, the television station, newspapers, and speeches of the big-time communists. And number three, of course, we could not leave the country at will. Okay, hey, not allowed. You can do anything you want, but uh, as long as it's what we are telling you to do, and you cannot leave. Now, what has been happening in the past two weeks? I considered myself a free man starting from 1991. I traveled to 35 plus countries in the world. I've seen things, I did business, I started my own companies. I worked different places, you know, I moved, I... You name it, I've done it. And all of a sudden, I find myself in the country that is a little different that used to be three weeks ago. Number one, all of a sudden, there is a party line. There is information, official information about this event that happened. That comes from the government and with the speed of light, new laws introduced that govern, that force us to actually concur with this information coming from the uh, official sources. And if we don't, if we say something else, where we hear something else, you know, perhaps hear some other news somewhere, it's not, it's not coming from the government. From 3 to 15 years, there are different variations, but hey, all of a sudden, I hear a high-ranking Russian official, a government official, saying something like, oh, how could these people, very famous singers, you know, uh, artists not support our country and the president in this military operation. That could be considered as traitorship. And I was like, what? What did I just hear? Aren't we all free? Aren't we all free to think what we want, to support what we want, to decide what we want to go by and against? Since when, if we go against some <coughs> decisions that governments government officials do, uh, and we consider traitors. Since when people who decide against, they don't like some uh, decisions that the government officials make, and they voice, you know, their position, since, the, since when they consider traitors, okay? A lot of people, um, like I said in one of my last streams, cancel culture was introduced in Russia. And I'm not talking about foreign companies canceling Russia as a market. I'm talking about uh, people are divided into two groups. Uh, one larger group that supports this campaign, sp special military operation. The second group does not support. And uh, people cancel each other. Since when in a free country people cancel due to uh, their own opinion on something? And if someone has a different opinion... That person doesn't speak to the person anymore. And since when? Well, I tell you since when. Since 1991. Since Soviet Union. Soviet Union? Yes, there was cancel culture. Russia? Never. Um, in Soviet Union, if you uh, would go against government's decisions, policy, you would be considered traitor. In Russia? Never. So we are having something evolving in front of our eyes that reminds me of... That feature number one that I didn't like in the Soviet Union. Now, feature number two, information. <sighs> Facebook has been closed, officially blocked in Russia. Why? So people don't get access to some news. Uh, the government considers fake news. But Facebook is full of different news. Some of them not fake and some of them true and some of them are fake. Okay, but... Don't we have a right to watch anything we want to and decide on our own what, what it is? Don't we have a right to do that? Hmm, interesting. Since when the only right opinion comes out of the government, can't government officials make mistakes? We just learned a couple days ago that the government officials made a huge mistake, that Ministry of Defense first informed Vladimir Putin that there are no draftees taking place in this um, 
special military operation in Ukraine. And just three days later, military of defense came out and said, oh yeah, there are draftees, you know, we were wrong. So can't government officials make mistakes? They can and they do. But since when we must rely on their opinion only, exclusively, solely, that's Soviet Union. That's feature number one that I didn't like at all. And number three is we're not free to leave Russia anymore. Uh, Russian government has not closed down Russia. Um, you know, nothing like that. But still, lack of freedom is in place. Because Russian airlines have canceled all international flights due to a good reason, because all uh, their airlines are afraid that the planes will get confiscated as soon as the planes will land someplace else in the world outside of Russia. Agreed. Uh, most European countries have blocked their airspaces to Russian planes. We simply cannot enter most European uh, air uh, airspace above most of European countries. The only countries we can fly to or through are Georgia, Azerbaijan, Iran, um, China, Turkey, and probably a few smaller countries. Mongolia. This is, this is not cool. There are hundreds of thousands of people trying to get out of Russia. And what they're doing is uh, they driving the price of airline tickets astronomical and there's simply no seats. And if you want to buy a ticket in advance, then you're going to pay astronomical price. And people, a lot of people simply cannot afford that. In one, in one way or another, we are unable to leave the country at will. Okay, that's the third thing that I don't like. And this is why I was singing this song I'm back into the USSR because this is how it starts feeling. Exactly like I am back to the USSR. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.